Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My brothers and sisters in Islam and humanity, it's your brother Deal Malik here from Muslim Council of Hong Kong with the last episode of this year's Ramadan Reflections, episode number 30. SubhanAllah, the, the month of Ramadan has absolutely flown by. I'm sure every single one who's watching will agree. Some of you are celebrating Eid today. Some of us will celebrate Eid tomorrow. No problem at all. Every day should be an Eid for us, right? In a good way, inshallah. May Allah Jal accept every single thing that we have done in this month and forgive for everything wrong we have done in this month and keep us of those who are consistent, who are sincere, who keep obeying Allah as much as we can, submissive to Him, who are trying to raise for the Akhirah in terms of goodness. Today's topic I've picked for you is called amusement. You might think I'm going to be talking about Eid because it's amusement, right? But Eid, I already spoke about yesterday. Please do watch that video because it teaches us how we should treat this, this day of Eid in terms of the things we should do and things we should not do. And it leads me on to this topic as well. Um, this topic might seem a bit quite pessimistic if you want to call it, but it's a dark reality. And I, wanted, I want this to be a reminder to myself first before anybody else. And this, is a, and this is something that Allah has mentioned a number of times in the Qur'an, which is regarding amusement. So I'm going to quote the ayah of the Qur'an, which is chapter number 57, verse number 20, where Allah Azza wa Jal says, Know that the life of this world is only play and amusement, pomp and mutual boasting among you, and rivalry in respect of wealth and children. It is like a rain, thereof the growth is pleasing to the tiller. Afterwards it dries up and you see it turning yellow. Then it becomes straw. But in the hereafter, there is severe torment, and there is forgiveness from Allah and His pleasure. And the life of this world is only a deceiving enjoyment. Um, you know, this I, I, I think, should be enough to even cover the whole lecture, a whole one-hour lecture. Because Allah is telling us clearly, clearly, clearly that this life is just play and amusement for some people. They think this life has no purpose. They think this life is all about having fun. This th they think this life is all about making the most money, making the most of your status, of your, you know, whatever um, b benefit you have in this world in terms of the worldly affair. But in that reality, you and I know this is not the reality, right? We know this life is just a few days. We know this life is going to end. We know this life is a huge test. We know this life will determine our Akhirah. And Allah says us in the Quran as well that, you know, for those who reflect and ponder, they will know the, the life of the hereafter is much more important. Again, Allah mentions in the Quran, verse number three, ch sorry, chapter number three, verse number 14, beautified for men is the love of things they covert. Number one, woman, then children, then much of gold and silver, wealth, then branded beautiful horses, which in today's world could be cars, cattle and well tilted land. This is the pleasure of the present of the, of the present world life, but Allah has the excellent return with Him. So Allah is telling us that in our hearts we want to, you know, we want to go for after these things, and this is something that's in our hearts. And this is again, it's it's a test from Allah, it's a trial from Allah that He will give us this beautiful thing around us to see how much do we get connected to it, and how much do we keep remembering Allah and go back to Him in terms of, you know what, Allah, I know you have something better for me. So when you see something haram, you know, haram is being promoted so much, it's being glamorized, right? So with regards to, you know, the way the movement are portrayed, the, more, the way um, children are going after, basically they want everything. We spoil our children sometimes as well. And the wealth, of course, is driving us crazy. We become in this rat race, absolute rat race that we're in. We always want to do something better than others. Whether it's a wedding day, you know, you see someone's wedding, you will, you're like, you know what? I want to do better than that. Whether it's a house, you know, you always want a bigger house, a better house. Whether it's a car, whether it's a job status, whether it's even knowledge, subhanAllah. You know, we always like to portray as if, you know what, I want to do better than them. Um, you know, in terms of envy, jealousy, and this, you know, connects with this as well, which we talked about already before as well. It, 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 there is only two permissible envies in, in Islam where we are allowed to, you know what, think, you know what, I would love to have that. I would love to have this. Two things. Number one is knowledge knowledge right we we see someone who have knowledge about islam about about quran about the sunnah about allah about you know things that will be, will be beneficial and we think you know what yeah allah i would love to have that not that oh i don't want that person to have but only i to have that's not permissible 
Envy means, you know, you're envious. You're like, I would love to have that. So knowledge is something we are allowed to have envy about. Number two is wealth. Again, wealth in terms of so that we can spend in the way of Allah. We can spend so that things will make us, will make Allah please enough for doing translation or something like that. And this ayah that I mentioned before, Allah mentions how, you know, Allah sends the rain about the vegetation, about how it grows, and then it turns yellow, and then turns dry, and then turns, you know, people don't even want to want to look at it. This is the life of this world, Ya Allah. This is the life of this world. You know, Allah gives us, you know, just look at how we are born from dirt, from a, from a, from a liquid that we, we don't even want to, want to talk about, right? And then Allah gives us strength. Allah gives us this beautiful body. Allah gives us this beautiful mind and everything that we have. And then we get into our youth. And then we have this, you know, we get into the work life and we think, you know what? We are it. But that's not it. The hereafter is it. May Allah make us of people who are not running after this world, but running after the hereafter. Make sure, Allah, make sure that you continue this drive even after Ramadan, my brothers and sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us in Jannah al Firdos with our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to see him inshallah by his mercy jazakallah khair for watching i hope this was beneficial for you it was definitely beneficial for me assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu